All right, we are back, and I believe that uh, there are some scroll spells to be used, and uh, maybe even a potion. Yeah, Yellen's drinking a potion of extra healing. Okay. For... Mm -hmm. If he's doing that 16. long enough, all right. Use that on. Is anyone objecting phase two the injury codes on Arkar and on Beowulf because they're the most injured? I'm not objecting. Well, <laughs> yeah, to. everyone bar Arkar and Beowulf. <laughs> Do you mean, object you are to being protected by my spell? Well, yeah, I do kind of object. Alright, so... Yeah, there's a 10% chance to fail on both of them, so... Alrighty, let's, uh... See how that goes. Alright, they both work. Mm -hmm. One second. And you're gonna save the other two for Leva and Me yourself and... at night? Yeah, rest. so we'll have uninterrupted spell rest, so we can get new spells. Yeah. Mainly so I oh. can get more in your codes. All right. I just realized Leva has more spells to memorize. Just a second. You leveled up, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, she uh -huh. leveled up last time. You got right. fourth and a third, don't you? So, uh... Uh, Yeldon has uh, taken his potion, uh, Laftal casts these spells, uh, everyone has gotten into their parkas, um, Ocker has uh, gotten uh, Bjelmulf, uh, uh basically harnessed into the sled, and you're going to start uh, trekking down the hill away from the uh, uh, entrance here? Yeah, we should also tie, each tie off to each other like we were doing last time we went through <sighs> this the... area. Has it been enough time for me to cast idea? Because it's the last time I'm probably going to ever use it. Uh, uh, no, what would Laftal think? I don't know. I mean, what 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 would you be trying to get idea with? I mean, basically, with you know, is there some kind of preparation we overlooked? I mean, I got flaming daggers and stuff. I don't know. Braxton's going to suggest swapping his. Uh... Oh, Flame maybe I can sword. do that. I can't think of anything. So yeah, anyways. I mean, I can't think of anything that you get anyway. Uh, Braxton goes to Ocker and says, "Do you want to swap swords with me? So you, my sword can maybe keep you warm." He's got the spell. Give it. To I have the spell else. on me, so I think I'll be okay. Okay, it'll go to Yeldin then. Yeldin, I'll be. Do you fine. want to swap swap long? You sure? Yeah. You won't. You'll get a higher chance to save. <laughs> I don't think he. I, I don't think he minds. Oh. Strength on Oka. Mm. Okay. All right, hold on a second. Let's see. Well, then uh, Braxton's going to make the same offer to Leftor. I've got a flaming dagger. It's right. not as big as a sword, but. Well, you can use the other sword, though, can't you? Yeah, I can use one of swords. Well, how about I give you this and you give that to, to Lever? I I suppose, actually. Do you want to do that, Lever? I'm sorry. I was looking at spells. What? I give you a hand warmer, essentially. <laughs> oh, yes, please. <laughs> Basically a flaming dagger. Yeah. All right, Ocker is at 1830 strength for now. Hmm. All right, I say thank you to Braxton for lending me his sword. So, okay. so this thing does this does many things, does it? I, I say, looking at it very inquisitively. Yeah. Um, that is extremely so heavy in your hands. You I'm only holding it. I'm not right. using. I'm not using it as a weapon, though. I understand. Oh, that, it's... but it's it's extremely heavy. Is like, it, too it is, weak it is to use extremely it? unwieldy. I think you need like a strength of at least fifteen to be able to use that sword. Can I use it in two hands? Use it like a two-handed sword. I mean, you you can carry it. You can definitely carry it. Uh, and yes, with two hands. But I'm just saying that that it is extremely heavy and unwieldy in your hands. So basically, if you were to use it as a weapon, you take. Penalty. I'm not going to use it as a weapon. It's literally a hand warmer, a glorified hand warmer. Uh, might be other issues as well. That you don't know about because it's very heavy and unwieldy. <laughs> what are you trying to say? It's gonna fall on me? I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying what's gonna happen. You're gonna you're gonna accidentally cut your leg off when you trip over. Yeah. Oh, does this mean I'm... we don't do it? 
Yeah, basically. Yeah, let's not do that. I'll trade my sword with you. Yeah, that, that's right. the reason why Yeldon turned it down. Yeah. All right. I'll trade the sword with you because I can actually hold it. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, so... Besides, don't strength. you have to be a fighter in order to use it as well? Mm -mm. Nope. Nope, you just oh. have to have a certain strength score. All right, so um, as you're about uh, ready to head down uh, the slope away from the entrance, uh, you do hear echoing down the corridors from behind you a very, very loud crack. I'll go to the uh, wall. Yeah. Yeah, let's get moving now. Yeah, no doubt there's going to be a flood. Yeah, it's going to uh, be a tsunami. Away from where do we come out? Yeah, why don't we just go away from the entranceway, like go around the side of the mountain or something? Yeah, we should do that and start heading. Because the water's going to flow straight ahead. Yeah, yeah we should do that and start heading back the path that we took uh, to get here. Okay. Yeah, that blue, that blue path was downhill, wasn't it? Towards the lake. Which also has blue water in. Well, I mean, it's color out here is a little bit iffy because it's dark. Um, Braxton's going to make... Uh, Braxton's going to pop over to Ocker and say, give me that for a second. And he's going to press the the dwarven button. <laughs> the dwarven button, right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> the, the depth button. <laughs> And uh, he wants to see if, uh, well, uh, do you th do you think Brack's going to be able to figure out whether the water would just flow along the route we're going to take? So, um, that'd be survival, wouldn't it? You you do this just outside the entrance, and uh, the message that it uh, conveys to you is that you're at the surface. <laughs> okay, he gives it back to Ocker and says, "That's not going to tell us." Yeah, let, it did let's tell get you moving, magnetic guys. north, though. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you guys uh, uh, head down the slope, uh, angling away, but still uh, in the general direction that you came from. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. After a few minutes, uh, you do hear a very, very loud gushing sound uh, and a great, great jet. Uh, almost a geyser of water uh, shoots out from the cave entrance. Um, there is a slight glow to it, not as bright as when it was in the uh, uh, very large chamber, although whether that was because uh, something integral to the liquid itself or because of the nature of the chamber, you don't know. Um, but it's not as bright. Uh, it's still bright enough to see what's going on. However, as it comes spraying out, uh, you're a good... Uh, 60 feet away from it, at least by now, um, and you do see the uh, the liquid uh, spraying out down the hill, uh, and it solidifies very quickly into so jagged, reason. sharp projectiles uh, <laughs> aiming away from the uh, entrance. Uh, well, well, nobody's going to get back in there anytime soon. Good thing we grabbed the, that uh, odd stone in the dark hallway. Yeah, there's probably one on the other side, I don't. I reckon. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Maybe happened. that would have been in a light hallway, for all we know. Good guess, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. so... Let's keep moving, okay. guys! Uh, is, it, is that statue still following us? Yep. yep. What, it's, it's actually following us? And now. it's, yeah, yeah, it's following you uh, down the slope. <laughs> all right, no, Laftel says, all right, if you're going to follow us, you're going to have to have a name. <laughs> Let's name it Kevin. Kevin? No, 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 no wait, no, I got That's a better very, name. That's uh, very real world. Actually. Kevin is a very strange name. None of you have ever heard the name Kevin before. Kevin? It was very just the first thing that comes doesn't to sound, head. doesn't sound like a name, in fact. It sounds weird. Yeah. I mean, if it's going I'm to be going to look up Norse <laughs> names to get this guy. <laughs> Alright, so uh, you uh, head down the slope, and uh, um, after a few hours, uh, you do arrive at the uh, um, the rock outcrop and spire, uh, and uh, you're pretty tired I, at this point. I have a name for him. We will name the golem Sten. 
<laughs> I actually <laughs> like the name Sten, actually. So. <laughs> Leva walks to the golem and says, "Push the pu uh, pull the the sled." It is it is a uh, Norse word for rock, or Norse name that means rock. So he will be rock. It does doesn't. It, react? it does not react to you at all. What if we all go in separate directions? See who it's following. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, that, that, that seems that's... like a great idea in darkness. <laughs> yeah, I just realized. <laughs> Let's it's set up right. a camp as best we can. Okay, uh, as, as you uh, travel, uh, let's see. Um, Higamus, you take uh, two points of exposure damage. Ooh. Um, and Yeldon, you take three points of exposure damage. And... Uh, let's see. Bjolmolf has uh, the Endure Cold, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he does take one point of exposure damage. And, I'm, and I have the Endure Cold and the Flaming Sword. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Endure Cold uh, basically just reduces any exposure damage that you would take to one. So and, the, oh, and, and the Flaming Sword helps even more. Yeah. Aura of Comfort is a bit different. Lafto, we, ne we never actually looked at the books again. Books. You haven't exactly had time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We should wait until we're out of the cold, or at least camping. Okay. Well, yeah, we're setting up camp, aren't we? Yeah, you or do not. get to the the spire, and uh, uh, it has been a bit of time. You're 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 tired now. And we have to set up camp manually because I don't have to spell memorize. Yep. And I don't have my Log of the Ever Branding, so we're using a normal amount of fuel. The Spire. Remind me, was this uh, inside? No. No. No, this was next to a tower, wasn't it? Well, I mean, a Spire is a... No, I mean, a, a Spire is a, a straight shaft of stone sticking up oh, into wait, the Oh, wait, no, it was one of the landmarks that you yeah, we this used is a landmark. to mark our way. Yeah. No, I just meant there was no, there was no way into it. No. It's it's right, it's okay. natural as far as you can tell. I mean, like it, yeah. it it's not it's not a, a a brick built you know stone block built structure. Yeah, fair it's enough. A, a All straight right. shaft of rock. So they have well, now we know it was a great idea to get that uh, to get all that firewood. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you guys uh, um, set up camp. Um, let's see. Is watch still going to be Ocker, Yeldon, Higamus, then Braxen? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm wondering if it's worth Braxton spending an effort trying to build a wall out of ice or something. We can dig on our um. We can camp, camp. fire and use the fire to block the direction that the wind is coming. I mean, it's up to you guys what you want to try to do. If we entrench yourself down into the ground a bit, then we're not as exposed. Yeah. That takes time, though. Mm. Well, Braxton doesn't mind doing the work. You're our survival expert, yeah, then you decide. Well, that's why it's like, uh, we can camp next fire and use the All right, fire we do that to one. block the wind okay. as much as it can. Less work. Can we use um? Can we use the sled in some way to help? You can use it as a reflective for the heat. Well, the problem is, is that to to do that, you'd be taking everything off of it, and right, you wouldn't necessarily enough. be taking everything off of it every single camping period. Yeah, fair enough. I am not looking forward to a. Uh... A white dragon going down. Oh, look, a lot of treasure on this convenient sled for me. Wow, what a nice tribute. <laughs> <laughs> I shall spare don't, you today for the nice tribute. Don't give old oh. ideas. <laughs> I know, right? Add <laughs> in white dragon near end, even though they don't exist on planet. Good. All right. Don't they? Oh, I didn't know that. 
We don't. Well, you don't right, actually so, know that. Yeah, let's, let's do the camp thing. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, disappointing. Uh, so you guys uh, set up camp. Uh, really missing the uh, the lack of uh, uh, cold wind that uh, the structure that you were in before uh, had for all those yeah. uh, multiple nights that you camped out in there. That's mm. great. And... You know, they probably let you want to bet they think we're all dead, says Yeldon. Yeah, they probably yeah. do. Oh, they thought you were all dead the second you left. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the <clears throat> of the faces is going to be. <laughs> They're going to be so surprised when we come back and ring that bell. You know right. what? When we get back to those dwarves, uh, I'm, I'm going to say if they want to buy the sled, they'll have to pay double. Yeah, it's an enchanted sled now. Yeah, well, it's, no, it's a legendary yeah. sled. It survived a trip into the cold side. All right, yeah. so um, uh, spellcasters, uh, you can make your changes. I'm going to roll for uh, potential exposure damage for those on watch. So, Ocker. Yay, new spells. Ocker, you're fine. Cool. And uh, those who've taken exposure damage, who are on watch, will recover uh, three points. Right. Um, in addition to uh, any non-exposure damage that you've taken, you get one point back. Uh, and those not on watch get back four points. I cannot remember the whole system I had on the go. <laughs> now, for my injury, I can't remember if I cast four injury codes or was it? Uh, you had four uh, auras of comfort and two and Sorry, and... Sorry, say again. You had four auras of comfort and two endure colds. Uh, does Yeldon take any exposure? I'm getting to that in a moment, but this is what he was asking right now. Because I was making I was making notes of who was getting what. Yeah. Strength. Strings. Oh. Yeah. Well, you, it's not the morning yet, so okay. hold on. Uh, okay. Yeldon, you're fine. Okay. Higamus mm -hmm. is fine. Oh, thank God. And Braxton, of course, is fine. So the uh, um, uh, your resting period uh passes. Oh yeah, I used the scrolls as well, so they've been used up on the code side anyway. Uneventfully. And. Oh, did those spells actually go off? Because there's ten percent failures on both of them. Because I would have cast them to make sure oh, we right. did get good sleep. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna. Use... I mean, okay, hold on. Uh, yeah. that one works. That one works. Yep. Because yeah, I had to make sure. I didn't know that we weren't gonna get interrupted. But... Yep. Because right. it's kind of bad if I can't cast into your kill. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, yes, uh, you get uh, uh, uninterrupted rest. Um. It is still quite cold, however, uh, so some of you may still have some exposure damage. Uh, next morning, uh, Leva is going to cast Strength again. On whom? On uh, Ocarp today. I'm going to cast Mount. Okay, hold on oh, your and... donkey. Oh, donkey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on, let me figure out how much the Strength is affecting Ocarp first. Oh yeah, it's also gone up a level. Mm-hmm. You get a warhorse now, can't you, or something? Not warhorse, draft horse. It's a draft horse. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, we, draft horse. We can try the donkey and look whether it's the same one as uh, as the last one. <laughs> 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 you you realise the deity of donkeys is not gonna like us. <laughs> Alright, Ocker, you're at uh eighteen uh fifty. Probably be some kind of central oh, goal. Does, is that where I it's a little bit better than the 1830, or is yes. that... Yes, yes it is. Cool. Alright, uh, and you're going to cast Mount... For Draft Horse? Because <sighs> now she can get the Draft Horse with all the gear on it. What? Mm -hmm. Right. You know, with all this wind, we don't need a draft horse. <laughs> we need a draft excluder horse. I tell you what, I'm 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 not sure I'm the mischief maker of the party here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you want to swap characters? 
You'll probably roll better rolls for, for Braxton. <laughs> no, I do. I, I actually have it's, really good rolls on my hit points. It's also going to stay for a bit longer. Well, depending on on on, on the roll, on the level variation. I got so, um, Leva, hmm? uh, oh, you summon monster. this uh, draft horse. <laughs> God. This is the most beautiful creature you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> oh, you've fallen in love with it. <laughs> God. You love this horse so much. Oh no. <laughs> is this now an eighteen rated show or this is this is your this is your true love. No. Uh this is as far this... as you are concerned, uh this is this this creature it sure. is the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Um Is it my soulmate? Uh yes. So keep that in oh mind my should God, anything no. uh happen to it. <laughs> Yeah, it starts freezing. You're gonna feel really bad. Oh, have have my woolen thing. I'll die for you. Yeah, well, yeah. I will. It's my horse. It's it's. It, uh, look at it. It's the most beautiful. You're gonna have an ever. emotional breakdown when it dies. It, it, gets it won't die. Don't don't even talk about something like that. Don't don't think it. I'm I'm also gonna point out that uh, uh, this doesn't end when the spell expires. Oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, does that what? class as a curse? You don't know. Does that mean she's she's going to want to keep casting the spell to get the horse back? Uh, I feel compelled. So this is this is that's up to how she plays plays this out. <laughs> wow. Well, she 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 will actually she will look at the horse and she will look at the sled and she'll say, "I I don't think this horse should actually carry uh, pull the sled. I, I I think I'll 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 sit on the horse for and and make certain it feels good." Uh, yeah, also, also, Ocker, I was incorrect. Uh, it's still plus one, plus three for eighteen fifty strength. Sorry, it's still the same as eighteen thirty. All right, this time around, old, I have got four endure cold and two auras of comfort. Okay, hang on. Uh, yeah, two. Uh, I actually know three auras of comfort just in case Higgins decides to resist. <laughs> All right, so who are you casting on what? Hang on, I got two. Temporary healing potions. So mm, let's do gonna... the auras of comfort first because that's what I got my pencil ready for. Two auras of comfort. Uh, uh, the free elves. It's the easiest way about it. You just said two auras of comfort for the three elves. Uh, no, sorry, I've got three auras of comfort. Okay. Because in case I've took basically I've got one spell extra in case I give a spell resist. Okay, so I got four endure codes memories. Yeldon laughed all never. Okay. Now get in yours. All right, and then uh, endure cold on Higamus, uh, Ocker, and Bjomoth. Yeah, and I've got one spare endure code in case it fails on Higamus. Laughter, you shouldn't. Uh, you shouldn't cast that on me. You should cast that on the horse. I'm casting it on you. Oh, I think you would name this horse, by the way. Leva. Yeah, you. Yes, you, I, 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 I have to think of a of an appropriate name for this uh, for this horse. It's okay. absolutely. It's the most beautiful thing. It's. <sighs> then the horse to the rest of us looks painfully average. I mean, it's a draft horse. Uh, Ocker, I mean, uh, Braxton, um, there were there were a couple draft horses on your uh, uh, on your asteroid. You know, I mean, there was still, you know, kind of high-end uh, uh, possession. But, can I uh, attempt to cast a spell magic on Leva? You can. I will yeah, attempt to dispel her. It's up to her how she's going to react. <laughs> dispel that, lever. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> she disappears. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just realized the problem with this. Uh, I'm not going to cast it yet, but it's going to be something in my mind. Okay. Well, she, 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 she names her horse Thor. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's an appropriate name for a horse. Oh, for her, God. Arco would approve. Leva, one. you're also casting. I would approve if you were naming a goat Thor. You're also casting um, Deep Pockets every day? Yes. Twice every day? All right. You do need to mention Approval. that when you before going to sleep and everything because of the chance of well, a lot you, of surgery. You, you, I didn't have it before. And this morning I fell in love with a horse. You know, you got to understand this. <laughs> ah, this horse. Ah. But you are casting deep pockets today. Yes. Okay. Yes. I I've am. got. Lo I'm casting log of ever burning every day to reduce when we camp as okay. well. Well, let me know as when well you as my. Yeah, I'm a quick camp I, I I needed to know for. Uh, I needed to know for Leva for level variation oh, well, and so. chance of wild search. Okay. 
All right, so um, uh, Leva distinctly notices uh, um, Laftal casting Aura of Comfort on Yeldon himself and herself, and Endure Cold on Higamus, Ocker, and Beomulf, and not the horse. Not Thor. <laughs> yes, I, 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 you should do that on the horse, not on me. What's, I... it, what's it worth to you? I've got one spell here. I'm I'm open to bar. <laughs> oh, God. Your character's in love. Your character will sell out for this. What, what, what do you want for it? I don't know. Well, What's you, this horse worth to you? My horse, you can't let my horse. Uh, uh... I know. It's, it'd be terrible if your horse were to die. You know, what are you going to pay for it? <laughs> you are a terrible person putting a, put, yeah, a, I, a price I, I tag on. Putting a price tag on love. Laftal's chaotic neutral. He's not good. He doesn't care. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I should intervene or not. I kind of find this hilarious. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm willing to sell you this spell for this this magical mount. His alignment seems to be chaotic salesman. Yeah. He's a thief. Well, He's, he sees an opportunity to get money. I should get uh, I should get uh, Lathal a big hat and a shirt that uh, always has the same pattern, no matter how you look at it. Hmm. Well, Le Leva is in love, so that you can't put the price tag on love. I, you, you can't? just can't. No, you can't. You're mm -hmm. so terrible. How much money do you want? <laughs> How much do you have? Oh, no, 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 no. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> oh, it does when you're in love. <laughs> I'm not in love with you. Don't forget that. <laughs> no, you're in love with your horse, and you don't want anything to happen to it. Be t oh, that, that horse, you know, it's got a nice, nice mane, you know. It'd be oh, I'm still haggling. I'm It'd still haggling with frosting. you. <laughs> I know that you're not very good at haggling. <laughs> I'm the one who sells most of our equipment. Uh, Lema doesn't understand how you can ask such profane questions. With it. uh, it's, it's this horse. Loftal <laughs> sees this as a luxury. You are paying for a luxury. Well, that's I sent yeah. you something on Discord. Huh? Huh? I sent I, I, I sent a picture on Discord in the main chat that you might want to look at. It's my pinned image of the left all right now. I don't see it. You don't yeah, see the link? May not have gone through. I don't have a red thing for it though. Let me Oh, there it is. It. No, oh, no, it has. There it is. Oh god, Stan. That's you. <laughs> I sure. Well, I mean, ha... Laftal, how much uh, are you going to ask her to pay for the endure uh... cold? Uh, it's a level one spell. I don't know, a couple hundred gold. Huh. A couple of hundred. Yep. <laughs> yep. Just a moment. I need to figure out how much money I have first. <laughs> You tomorrow I mean, for and... endure cold today. You know, Laftal will willing to accept as much as you're willing to offer for it, so to speak. Oh, how about like, fifty like... gold? <laughs> All right, yeah, I will accept fifty gold. Okay. All right, I, I will cast my last endure cold on. All right, so you've, uh... you don't you've... try to fake it. <laughs> No. Uh, yeah, I accidentally cast Fairy Fire first. Oh, sorry. Yeah. One second. <laughs> the horse is now glowing with a purple sheen. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Laftal, I mean, uh, Leva, your uh, uh, your beloved horse uh, now has a uh, uh, a purple fiery uh, uh, radiance you, to it. You see, Leva, these, oh, these spells, it looks even better don't... now. <laughs> These spells, they don't always work. It's... <sighs> Laftal's just making fun of the situation. He's casting into a code afterwards. He's having that 50 gold off you. All right. Okay. With that, uh, you are ready to get moving for the day? Correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, oh, yeah. is the order that you guys were in before, uh, oh. with Higamus in the lead, Braxen, Leva, Ocker, and Beomulf, Laftal, uh, the Horse and Sled, and then Yeldon behind? 
still before we do. set off yeah i'm gonna create two temporary healing potions to hand them both to arco i assume he's gonna use this lay on hands and this wolf so yes considering i can't feed it a potion we could try we, I, yeah. I've been able to feed it both just before. I mean, I can hand it to one to you, so if you but think you can I get will, it to drink it. I will lay on hands on it. It's begging full hit points. All right, yeah. Then you get two temp healing potions since you're the most damaged. Okay, so that's 2d4. Okay. Yeah. And I, there's no downside to drinking multiples, is there, old? No. They're just temporary ones, so... <sighs> Leva doesn't let her horse pull the sled, but she has memorized the second uh, uh, mind spell, so she will cast oh the my second god horse. god. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't, don't, don't fall in love with this one as well. I right, so was really tempted to spell magic on that. Are you going yes. to uh, summon a uh, another draft horse, or are you going to summon a mule? Yes. Okay, another draft no. horse. Okay. Yes. Lastly, you might want to get the spell magic ready on her, just in case. Okay. All right. Uh, you get a uh, another draft horse. Uh, this one, Leva, clearly an inferior specimen of the breed. Yep. I think mm -hmm. this one should uh, just pull the slit. But my horse, uh, my horse is going to be with me. You're gonna By have way, a is mount. that is that a male or a female horse? Hold God on. no! Please oh. no! Please no! Hold please on. no! Oh no, God oh, no! So 50 50. Actually, I think draft horses are usually male. I think they're usually stallions. I don't stallions think or you... geldings? Well yeah, well, yeah, they might be geldings. I don't know. I don't know that much about horses, but I can't recall draft horses ever being referred to as a mare. Okay. So I'm going to say it's probably a gelding. Uh huh. Lucky. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, it's a gelding. Okay. All right. Uh, hold on a second. Let me uh, go ahead and. Uh... Duplicate this uh, this token for the uh, the second one. Great, we got we got a completely useless horse and a horse that's pulling the wagon. What do you mean a useless horse? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my soulmate. Don't you? The, gosh, you people are so cross. You just don't understand true love. So Bjomulf yeah, got uh, healed up with to full with your lay on hands. Yeah. Fucker. Okay. Good, then I don't need to modify uh, that token. All right. Okay, so uh, you begin to retrace your steps. Um, Leva is uh, riding her uh, uh, her horse now, and uh, the second one is uh, pulling the sled. Yeah, Laftel, you'll have to actually roleplay that out rather than just PM me. That's, that's visible. <laughs> like... <laughs> Do you approve or not? Well, I mean, other than the fact that uh, you can't actually take on the appearance of a specific person. Oh, I thought I could. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm pretty it. sure you can't, no. Oh. I, the best mock-up lever I can think of, I will transform into. <laughs> and I'm going to pretend to fall in love with Lever's horse, and I will just mimic her, mock her in a very mischievous way. Lever casts there, not there, on her horse. And she makes certain that she can see the horse. Uh, sorry, saw, not the horse. <laughs> Wait, what? Basically, they're going to use up all their spells, and then we're going to get attacked by... by... Um, <laughs> monsters. <laughs> and uh, that's just using his hat to disguise that he's never used before. So, <laughs> well, so can you just cast a spell magic on her to get rid of the whole love thing? It will get rid of our injure cold or or. Well, cup then we'll do it tonight. Then we'll do it tomorrow after we rest. When I start feeling cold, I'll cast it. Okay. Because the spells run out at the same time. Okay. Uh, how long does your Endor Cold last for again? Uh, I think it was like nine hours. Yeah, right. nine hours. And what is it, six hours for Aura of Comfort? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Um, Alright, so you guys uh, set off, um, making your way back down through the, uh, um, uh, the valley, uh, heading towards the... 
the crevasse, and then down off the ridge down to the uh, the shore. Um, since you're going downhill so much, um, you are able to make a somewhat better time than you did coming this way. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, things pass fairly uneventfully. Let me go ahead and see how... I don't know about that. Been pretty eventful so far. Uh, the, indeed, <laughs> but uh, weather-wise, uh, shall we say. Um, I'm just uh, checking to see how many... Things I Laftel, Laftel's putting it down to uh, everyone giving his uh, blessing to this. <laughs> he's, he's he's lending a little bit of aid. He got good weather now. That's what he's putting it down to. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, it is still quite cold. The wind is still blowing quite strong, bl swirling uh, snow all around you. Um. And Ocker and Leva, you notice that uh, um, the weather definitely appears to be uh, affecting uh, your animals uh, more than you. Uh, what about the companions, Tan. Tan is Tan, Tan is in the that. backpack. Tan is is yeah. fine. Does she not uh, care about Tan anymore? She cares about Tan. Tan is, but Tan, Tan yeah, is, but compared compared to Tan is a friend. Tan is Tan a is a familiar. A familiar. Um, I didn't fall in love with Tan. Bjorn suffers four points of exposure damage. Ooh. Even with that Enduron? Oh, right. No, sorry. It's yeah, it, it's, it's got down to one. So yeah, it's just one. dropped down to one. Um, and both horses suffer one point. Oh, oh but one's and one, um, one of them ball. has Endure. The other one doesn't. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. The one levels in love with Hans and Jer killed. I actually <laughs> check to see how many hit points draft horses have. Hold on a second. Because I just realized that I had the uh, the number written down for the mule, not the horse, and the horse should have more. We're going to have a, a very angry farmer. <laughs> Why? I mean, he. Because we keep stealing his animals and making them march through bitter cold. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, Leva looks after her her, her true love. Uh, she looks rather well. Yeah, after and Laugh will say he makes a tidy profit from it while he's at it. <laughs> Actually, can I use this gold coin as a holy symbol? Because I have to shield her. Can you use what? Can I use one of these no, gold coins? No, because you didn't actually oh. steal it. I I I made good of an opportunity. You didn't actually steal it. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, oh, no. Uh, draft horses and mules have the same hit dice. All right, that works. Hmm. All right, so that is going to be. Uh... All right. Okay, so. Um... How long does the love effect hat last? <laughs> well, you won't know until it Problem. expires. Or until we get uh, Lasso to dispel it. It might take multiple to spelling, so that might be a curse. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you <laughs> continue on, um, and uh, after about four hours, uh, you are making uh, what you think is good progress down the slope, and the second horse uh, also takes some more exposure damage. And Higamus, you take uh, a point of exposure land damage. Laftel's trying his best to comfort the horse there. There, it's not. It's not as bad as it, it is. No, <laughs> he's not as good as the the, the the horse snorts in your general direction. <laughs> it, it it really blows out its uh its breath at you. <laughs> Doesn't seem to approve of your uh, your uh, opinions on the matter. Um, after about uh, six hours, uh, the aura of comforts will uh, expire. Uh, but uh, oh. the uh, initial before that happens, um, Higamus takes another point of exposure. Uh, Bjomulf takes a point of exposure. And so does uh, your horse. See, I'm, not my horse. I'm kind of yep. my love. Yeah. Yes, your love. 
Thor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm still carrying that dagger. I, I I think I'll just press the dagger carefully against the horse. For the <laughs> Money, you're gonna set the horse on fire! It's it's not a warm dagger. It's a flaming dagger. It has it's flames a along dagger. the blade. You're gonna set its hair on fire! Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Then I don't do that. <laughs> I can't. I can't bear the thought of hurting my true love. No, no, never. Oh my God. This is going to go so poorly. What have you done to us all? I, it's not my fault. <laughs> You're it's the like one who made her in love with the horse. I uh, nope, nope, not me. It was a dice. Let the fan fiction commence. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you all get from complaining. There weren't enough. Uh, there weren't enough uh, uh, wild surges. I don't. Point I don't want to see the fan fiction that that our fans would make for us. He has got. Oh, come it. on, you're morbidly <laughs> curious. Uh, so after I about eight hours, after about eight hours, and the auras of comfort have uh, uh, expired. Um, let's see. I think those were on the elves. Yeah, the so elves. Stressed out because her horse is is getting cold. Suffering. Yeah, it's suffering. I can tell. He is suffering. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, See, Leva, with the, with the aura well, of comfort funny. having expired, uh, you are really feeling the cold, and you suffer four points of exposure damage. Oof. Who? And... You are. Me? Okay. Uh, both of the uh, horses suffer... Um, uh, Thor suffers one, and so does the other one. <gasps> well, Lever doesn't really care about herself, but her horse. I mean, oh, God. Laugh will dispel it now. I'll pay you later. Uh, uh, Laugh will seize an opportunity to make money out of Lever. See, he's not so convinced. <laughs> I, I will pay you money if you dispel that magic. How much? <laughs> 300 gold pieces. Done. <laughs> I, I cast. I start casting to spell mode. I I hold out a hand for the money. Well, I yeah, pass him three hundred gold pieces. All right. All right. I ca I cast the spell magic on Lover. Okay. You have to restrain her. She might attack me. Do Do you really want to be handling gold pieces in the snow? He's just. Yeah. You know, I've got. Uh, yeah. I I don't care. Gold's gold. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Ocker, go ahead and. Uh... Deduct that from your treasure. All right, and uh, I, I attempt to cast a spell magic. All right, give me the uh, d20. I'll probably keep casting it until it works eventually. <laughs> I might have to take several days. God, oh, yeah. that's most definitely not a success. Uh, yeah, you can tell that the spell has just basically fizzled. Yeah. Yeah, Laftel says he'll try again in the morning. Okay. You only had the one. Yeah. I, wouldn't, okay. I didn't think I'd be memorizing. I'll have to take remove curse as well. No. <laughs> True love triumphs. <laughs> <laughs> I think you get money. I expect it to work eventually. It will work eventually. That I'm not sure if it's a curse or if it's a magical affliction. Can I use spellcraft on that? Uh, you can try. Won't tell you whether it works or not. Or, I mean, whether you can or not until you you do it. Yeah, that's a failure anyway. Okay, you're definitely not sure. Uh, this is wild magic. Uh, other than the chaos of it that you you do uh, have a, a perverse pleasure about, uh, you don't know the details of it. You don't know what what it creates. And to be perfectly honest, while you suspect it's wild magic, like a, an effect of the wild magic, you don't know for sure. And pretty much everyone else would have no idea whether this Michael is a magical doesn't really see it as a curse. He sees it as an opportunity for money. Just a... <laughs> a, a well, no, he, already I mean, got, he already made 300, 400 gold out of it, so... Like, to, to be perfectly honest, for the, you know, most of you would kind of see it as some Leva's just being strange kind of thing, so... Um... All right, the uh, the strength spell has expired uh, for you, Ocker. Yeah. Oh, she's going to start casting strength on the draft horse each time. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, strength strength only works on. Oh, she'll humanoids. pick more applicable spells. So. Okay. At large, 
Enlarge the draft force. Oh, God, that... Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> I knew exactly what went through that. Laugh to open it. Actually, would Ocker be against gambling? Or wages? Uh... Because Laughter would be like, eh, 10 guilds says she has a mental breakdown. I'm not sure if uh, if gambling is against my paladin code or not. It's uh, kind of looked down upon us. Yeah, it would be like, yeah not, not, it wouldn't be uh, against your paladin code, but it would definitely be, you'd definitely be frowning upon it as a lawful good person. Yeah, I don't like gambling as a lawful good person. Yeah, Laughter's uh, wasted opportunity. Brax is a select. Laughed all. Uh, don't forget, that's illegal on this planet. Is it? Yeah. yeah. No, Laughed all's got... Uh, he, he's aware of the customs, is it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I have that big book of laws that I still carry around in my backpack with me for some reason. You do? I bought a copy of their book of laws. Oh. Mm. See, it's much easier if you just get a spell. Which probably is going to be out of date by the time we get there. Because they change their laws very quickly. Is that what paladins have to do? Carry around books of laws? No, I did it just so I could read through the book because I thought it was interesting. He would. Oh, I've yeah. been basically reading that book uh, as we've been doing this journey. Alright, so um, you are still in the valley and coming to the... Uh, um... Uh, that very narrow pass through the, uh, uh, you know, that you you traveled through. Um, when you do feel a rumbling uh, beneath you, oh god! Uh, you are standing on uh, what is uh, essentially a, um, a glacial ice beneath oh, no. you. Oh, glacial no. cement. And we've, we've... global warming is the thing. <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, from up ahead, something enormous bursts through the uh, ice directly ahead, and it's a long tube like creature that uh, leaves this, this hole behind. Uh, almost leaping out onto the, the solid surface and starts uh, squiggling towards you. Worm! Worm! It's, it is, is a it long, those... grayish-white, blends well in with uh, snow and ice, uh, but it is very long. Is it... Uh... Is this the one we fought before? No, no, this is different. This is an actual oh. worm. <laughs> this, is bigger. Sure. This, is, this is bigger. This is a lot bigger. It's, it's a frost... Uh... Uh, I guess you'd yeah. call it a frost worm. So, go ahead and uh, roll initiative. Because of the uh, rumbling, no one is surprised. So the, there is no surprise round. I'm going to find my token for this thing. There it is. See, La Laughter would make a joke to Lever, but Lever might actually get herself killed if you made that joke, so he's going to resist. <laughs> Something about saving <laughs> your horse. Well, what do you think she is doing? She will do. But, well, uh, so it's it's the most important. It's it's my soulmate. It's the most important thing in my life. It's, it's... Unleash hell upon that thing that would dare threaten your horse. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning bolted. Oh. I don't think she has that spell. Yeah, she might have a scroll or something. Or two. No, she doesn't... knows lightning bolt. I know that much. She just doesn't know fireball. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she... she she doesn't know lightning bolt. Did you see my roll there, old? Um, the one? Yeah, good job. That's pretty good. What are you doing? Uh, I was trying to use my spell. I didn't select my character. I was just wanting to make oh, sure. Yeah, I did that, that as well. Before I reroll. Okay. Just to get me on the sheet. I'm casting my create animal spell. <sighs> so, so old can have yes, another token on the field. Well, I think Hagamus is going to go uh, Hassan <laughs> Chop with his sword. Nope. I forgot to... Yeah, that's a an like actual that's... worm. It's just oh, not a... Are you going to shoot the thing in the head? It's just not a well, purple oh, worm. Use my sword. He's using the ability of his sword to give him some temporary hit points. 
I can't remember. Uh, Did purple worms poison? It's definitely not purple. It's yeah, I know, but I'm just... Worm. It could be. No, purple worm has all... Purple worms have all the D&D advice you ever need. Uh, although, me and Yell <laughs> don't need to uh, make a note of this creature what we fight here. I didn't put me in. Okay. Would you guys like to come... put, Would you mind putting uh, Levi just, Levi just in? roll again and uh, enter your the number. Yeah. And do what, what everyone did. else did. I tried, but it didn't enter. You gotta select your token and then. I did. All right, hold on. Let's try, Let's try this one again. Dun, 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 dun. Nope. nope. Oh, well, you're just rolling. You're not using the... Uh, um... Macro. You gotta oh, take yeah, the token okay. and then do it. What's this uh, creature vaguely described as? It's just a giant a worm. worm. It, 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 it looks, yeah, it it looks very much worm. like um, uh, sorts of earthworms, but it does have right. a maw on the front uh, surrounded Teeth. by uh, long tooth-like uh, structures. Uh, its tail is still down in the hole. Uh, but it is uh, extremely towards long. You. It is. Um, it's lo if you it's look very, at very, very long. Oh, right. Very, I'm using more than light. long. Like more than uh, twenty feet. Oh yeah, more than twenty feet. I more just remembered 50. something. Yeah. Well, you can't see. I'm you, using you the flaming sword. That's, that's fine. You are. I'm using the flaming sword. Braxton has my sword. That, just, yeah, Braxton's not. Braxton's not going to use your sword. No, we trade swords, remember? So right now in this combat, we're using each other's blades. So I have... That changes what I might do future in this fight. How uh, quick does it take to change a weapon type to another one on this uh, thing with the buttons? Uh, yeah. It's basically instantaneous. You you press a button and it's the other weapon. Okay. This round I'm going to use a long sword. Next round I'm going to change it to the battle axe. Okay. Um... So, to answer your question, uh, Laftal, the creature is at least what you can see, 30 feet long. Um, right. And it, it goes down into the hole behind it. Uh, beyond that, you're not sure. Uh, it's about feet 10 feet in diameter as well. This thing is enormous. Ooh. Like, this is, this is like, other uh, than the dragons that you've seen... Uh, and some of the, uh, the creatures in space, this is basically the largest terrestrial creature you have ever seen in your life. If you look at the top, if you look at the, the purple worm site, at the very top, there's a purple worm. That's kind of what it looks mm -hmm. like, except not purple. Yeah, but <laughs> you don't actually know that this is a purple worm. I'm it's just trying to think purple. of the right descriptor for it. Uh, humongous or extremely large? large. Uh, gargantuan, gigantic. Uh, uh, gargantuan. I would call, yeah, I mean, since a lot we are encountering words. it in a frosty location, I would call it a frost worm. All right, so uh, Higamus, you are going first. Yep, I'm going to try to get some hit points here. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot that you have to do that every time. Make sure you I'll, live. I'll hey! Very nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, you can move too, I think, too, right? If you want to charge... I'm going to wait for uh, the tanky person, like, Braxton again there. For... <laughs> <laughs> I you mean I was Braxton in this case. All right, well, we're, all all armor. Also, we're all tied together. Laftal? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, can, you, can, you can have untied yourself uh, since yeah. you, you weren't moving to attack. Um, and you're just calling yeah. on the power of okay. your weapon. You, can, uh, yeah. you could have untied yourself. I'll um, do that then. All right, so Laftal, you are summoning the uh, animal spirit. Yep. Okay. My miniature worm. Um. Does it summon at range? Because you might be able to uh, put it somewhere. Uh, that's not something I looked at. Uh, summon oh, animal spirit. Okay. Time. While you're looking at that and deciding where you're going to put it, Braxton, what are you doing? Range ten yards level. Uh, okay, if, next to if, it. Brax, if Braxton would have had a chance to um, untie himself, then he would try and get sort of over here. Okay. Uh, so you are running around it uh, as it uh, uh, comes out of the, the ground and uncurls. Okay. Yeah, try and come in. Can he attack it from the side? No. Oh. You can... 
not in this round because you're moving at uh, uh, ha half your movement rate. Yeah, hang on, I think it's too far away, isn't it? Uh... You moved 50 feet to go there. Yeah. All if right. you move in front of it, it's 40 feet, which I think is in your movement range. Yeah, I'm just thinking that stops anyone else shooting it. All right. I've put my creature to the side of it. Some I'm going to call it. shot it, so... I plan to move what? about there on my turn, but yeah. What if, uh... Well, mind you, that's not actually at it, is it? This... This is the creature, isn't it? Not yeah. Not here. Well, no, that's... The whole pitch is the creature. I haven't seen Alright. It's, it's just that freaking big. Could I go there and attack it then, Ord? Um, but, uh, 50 feet from where he moved. Yeah, it's from. 50 feet from where you move. So no, you can move there and not attack. Be right. Or you can move here and. Yeah, I mean you'd have to move basically move right up in front of it if you wanted to be able to attack. So what there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay then. Okay. Uh, and uh, he's gonna swing the uh, orcish warhammer at it. Okay. And uh, what's my Thaco with the Orcish Warhammer? It's 14. All right. Uh, that is a hit. Your uh, hammer uh, does smash into it. It is a, a large creature, so you can you roll that damage. Uh, yeah, I've not got written down. Is it 1d4 still? Yeah. Left? No. I mean, it's it's still a D4. I'm pretty sure. Um, uh, I believe it's 1D4 weapon. plus 1 against normal and 1D4 against uh, larger than. Right. Yeah, because okay. I... Uh, I mean, it's you should have the, the numbers written do for... What worse against bigger creatures? You should have the numbers do written for um, Aegis Burden. I do for Aegis Burden, but I think Aegis Burden's got a bigger plus. <laughs> Unless something's wrong. Because I've got 1D4 plus 3 for... Small and medium for Aegis Burden and 1d4 plus 1 for for this one. Right, because you don't I'm know the... Uh, um, I'm still modifier. learning it. Yeah. Okay, and you get your strength bonus and the uh, modifier to it. Uh, your hammer does uh, um, leave a little bit of a mark on it. But exactly how much? <laughs> that just got its attention. It it definitely yeah. got its attention. Yeah, and then it eats Braxton, <laughs> belches, right. and goes away. <laughs> Leva, your turn. I cast a uh, mirror image. Okay. On the horse. <laughs> if you if if I could, I would. <laughs> Don't give her ideas. Don't give her ideas, please. All right, normal number of images. All right, so suddenly uh, four more levers appear. Um, Floating in the air, sitting on nothing. No, no on actually... Images of the horse. Since she, you are mounted on the horse, right? You're riding the horse? Yes. Yeah, uh, actually the uh, uh, images of the horse appear too. Oh, okay. I guess that would make sense, because otherwise it would kind of break the spell if it yep. didn't work that way. Can their own user see your own images? Yeah, she can. I mean, does the horse react to its own images? Just out of curiosity. Uh, the horse is definitely scared of this enormous thing coming out of the ground. So it's not bothered by its own illusions. Don't forget, the Lebo is calming it down as she goes. Uh, Alright, okay. Otter, your okay. turn. You won't feel anything if you die. Okay. You just swallowed hell. <laughs> I'm going to um, move in with a flaming sword. Uh, I'm trying to figure out so I'm right there. Yeah. You'd have to maneuver around. Yeah. Can I move here? Yep. Yeah, I don't think you can attack this round. Can't I? Oh, can I? Uh... You're not. You're not uh, overburdened, right? I'm not overburdened. Yeah. Then yeah, most of my stuff's on the sled. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move in. And I'm gonna swing with the flame. Wait, are we all tied up? Uh, no, I mean, uh, I decided that yeah, uh, since the rumbling, you were able to get yourselves untied. Right. Okay, is it? Uh, okay, so no fairy fire or anything's on this thing yet, nope. right? Nope. Ah, oh, you wasted that on the horse. <laughs> For... 
Profit. What's your uh, Thacko? Also, uh, um, is Beomilf attacking? Uh, yeah, give me a second. I'm looking at my... My Thacko is 13. Beomilf is going to attack as well. Uh, you do hit. And Bioma hits. Oh, okay, wow. so it this counts as a. AC. So this fire sword counts as a plus one weapon. Uh, well, yes, as far as you know. Okay, so that's gonna be a one d twelve plus two, since this is a large creature. Eh. And now for my wolf, I have to scroll all the way down. Hey, it's oh. Two d four. When. Um, Lava cast that horse. That's going to be what level her magic die after the spell at. So uh, if there was a level variation, yes. it might be like I yeah. put a dispel at level 10 or. Yeah. So I don't know what level that was cast at. Correct. Level 8 because at Wild Surge is what yeah. I Yeah. But there might be a variation in that level. Okay, uh, so you, uh, Ocker, you swing the uh, um, the sword. You got um, that's oh, that's the two. Them. Okay, um, the uh, um, the flames of the blade definitely seem to lick at the uh, uh, hide of this creature. Uh. Oh yeah, your the the strength spell expired already. That's right. That's why it's not modified mm -hmm. that way. I would have Listen. modified it a bit if I was still under that. All right, uh, and uh, Beowulf is able to uh, rip off a small chunk of uh, flesh from its uh, uh, side as well. Okay, and next. Then I get my second attack this round, and then next round I'm going to switch off to Battle Axe. Okay. All right, Yeldon, your turn. Out comes my bow. All right. Aim. Uh, we can do the camel on the other side, Leva. <laughs> yeah, well, that'll be quite useful over there. Uh, yeah, it looks like I just have normal arrows. Oh, I forgot to say this is a cold shot because I meant to call shot. Oh, okay. Uh, mouth are area. You, uh, to the mouth. All right. Yeah. Uh, give me just a second. I just re realized that I didn't have uh, a uh, another friendly follower on the map uh, who is not doing anything. He's just standing in the back behind you, uh, Yeldon. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, I wonder how the dwarves will react to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's our pet. Okay, so Yeldon, you are uh, called shot to the mouth. Uh, your arrow does um, sink into the soft, fleshy bits around the mouth. Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah, it's still plus one. Okay. All right, and uh, the... Uh, enormous worm uh, tries to smash down on you, Braxen, and uh, bite you with its uh, uh, ring Lovely. of teeth. And what's your armor class? Armor class is... Oh. Well, I've got... Uh... You got the park. Oh wait, no, you got your normal armor. He's got on. the chain on. Yeah. So, uh, what have I got written down? I've got two written down, but I'm not sure that's up to date for the chain. Uh, base armor class for uh, male is five. Five. And what's Weird. your dex bonus? Ah, uh, woo. Then you shoot. You people and your questions. <laughs> well, you got to yes. be able to answer them. You, yeah, how you long a... have you been playing your character for? Well, I don't believe I don't believe that. <laughs> uh, dex bonus. <sighs> what is your dex? Dex 15. is 14. I see defense. Dex is 15. 15. Your dex should be 15. I've got 14 down. I... No, I've got 14 written down on my character sheet. Huh? She's got a defense of just 
Which that would not have a defense adjustment, but I'm pretty no, sure you had it. Yeah. yeah, I've got defense adjustment zero. Anything above fourteen, I think, isn't it? Could have sworn you had a fifteen. All right, no, never mind. I thought you had a fifteen as well. Well, maybe I've got. No, no, no. I mean, if it says fourteen, you it's fourteen. All right. Oh, hang on. Uh, I got. Go I had a te- the dex. Outside. I had attempts dex fourteen was fifteen. Right, ah. so it got drained. Did it go back? Yeah, it would have gone back. Right. Yeah, 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 fifteen. All right, what was, what okay, was that, yeah. Yeldon? I'm sorry. I gotta be right back. Gotta let a dog outside. Okay. So you had fifteen, but then it got drained. So you should have fifteen yeah. again. Yeah, I put it back. Um. So, you have so plus one back, um, the armor. Yeah. So that's. And six, because you're uh, uh, using, using a shield. single weapon, no, he's not using a shield. He's using single oh, weapon yeah, style. Another that's one. another plus one. So uh, that's going to be three. All right. Um, uh, I'll change it to three then. You got ring. And you're wearing those boots, protection. right? You're wearing those boots. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it sma- It it tries to smash down on you, uh, but. You feel uh, really light and bouncy on your feet, and you just, uh, uh, you know, like, lightly uh, um, dodge backwards uh, away from it, uh, and it smashes into the uh, uh, the ice and snow at your feet. I just realized we're not wearing our snowshoes, are we? Uh, nope. No. Because uh, we were trying to get out of there fast. Yeah. Now, well, we won't be going anywhere as after. as you guys have been moving in, uh, it has been pulling uh, its body out of the hole behind it, uh, and it has now done so. Exactly how long this thing is is hard to determine because it's kind of like coiled it up, uh, uh-huh. but uh, it now pulls its uh, end out of the hole, and you see a very sharp horn-like uh, projecta. Uh, projection on oh, its there. very end. And it's got it, a stinger! It whips that around uh, and oh, is dear. trying to hit you, Ocker. Shield up! Shield to face! Not the face! Not uh, the face, not the face! And it slams into your shield and into the ground in front of you, but you do manage to uh, avoid that. Thank God for my shield. Okay. It's a plus three shield. It's giving you some AC. <laughs> it is! All right, so second attacks for Higamus and uh, Ocker. What? Okay. Oh, not Higamus, uh, Braxton, sorry. My bad. Uh, Braxton's not going to get second attack till the second round. Oh, all right. Because he's not, he's not specialized. Oh, right, yeah, you're using the hammer. Sorry. I, I uh, just does, used to uh, the sword. Does Yeldon get another arrow? Yeah, he did, but he stepped away. So you go ahead and attack first, and I'll... Oh, okay. that hits? Uh, unfortunately, no. Um, you're you're too off balance from that uh, hit to your shield, uh, and you uh, okay. you swing back at it, but uh, you're not able to penetrate its hide. Uh, Press button. Yeldon, are you back? Yeah, I just got back. Okay, you get your second arrow. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> wrong button. <laughs> well, if I hit the damage, then still called shot to the mouth. Okay, that's gonna be a hit. Um. So just take the damage roll. Yep, I'll do that. <laughs> All right. Is our horses staying in place, or are they? I'm starting to flee. To... Well, the the one that's uh, uh, attached to the uh... sled sled can't really do a whole lot, but I mean it's. it's oh, Lever's going to run away on our belt. <laughs> uh, let's see. Actually, no, that's not the right number. Roll. Do we uh, roll initiative again? Yeah, everyone can roll initiative. I'm just oh, yeah, checking yeah. Uh, oh. um, morale. Um, they're both uh, neighing wildly and, and bucking, but uh, not... Uh, they're they they still fun. restrained. Yeah. They're not breaking the restraints. But I don't want to losing our mounts. Oh, hey. Okay, I'm switching to battle axe mode. I do not know what the bonus for the battle axe is, so I'm just going to go with eight. eight. Um, for weapon only six. I'm oh. switching the lordly might to the battle axe, which the speed rating of a battle axe is eight. Seven. Oh, it's seven. Yep. Okay. So, uh, even so, 
I don't know what bonus Battle Axe has on it, so I can't edit the speed rating accordingly. Well, uh, until you know the the uh, um, the modifier, you don't. It doesn't modify your speed. You you go at the normal speed. Okay. Yep. I'm shooting my bow, but I'm only shooting one shot, so I want to get repositioned as well. Okay. All right, and Love is going to enlarge on Braxton. Has everyone rolled? Mm-hmm. Oh. I can move 80 at half if I'm at light, if it's 8. You well, yeah, can move a 40 feet, 8 squares. Fuck you. Okay, Yeldon, you go first. Call chop mouth. That's a hit. <laughs> you just see Yeldon just <laughs> shoot four arrows right into its mouth. <laughs> or three arrows right into its mouth. Like, dunk, dunk, dunk. Yeah, it, it is not happy about that. Um, the, but it's also... The bad news is, you're not getting those arrows back. <laughs> unless you're probably crunching them it. up. Yeah, it is, it is smashing them up with, with its... Uh, Teeth, yeah, I kind of figured. When it attacks, so That's yeah, you are losing them. I'm using like seraph arrows, anyways. I got a huge amount of those recently. I did get a comment uh, from someone who is very displeased with you. You calling sheaf arrows seraph arrows? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a bit weird. Yeah. All right, uh, Leva, you're casting enlarge. Oh, well, they're, they're, they're sheaf. I just take. I'm, I'm far. I'm yeah. close enough to him. All Can right. we get, like, bodkin point arrows, or...? Uh, Shifa are broader-headed arrows. No, I yeah, just they, may, they just do more damage. And you can't yeah. use them with the sharp bow. Okay, uh... Braxen is 70% larger, so his damage is going to be modified by uh, an additional... Uh, by 1.7 times. Oh. All right. Uh, Laftal, your turn. Uh, I am moving 40 feet, uh, bear with me, 40. Do I have to move around it like that, or can I move to, like, there? I mean, if it says eight squares, you can move it. Yeah, eight squares. Yeah. It's not like they smack. actually take up the full space. <laughs> I think it's somewhere around there, anyway. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna shoot one arrow at it. Alright, you also get your, uh, creature's attack. I'll roll for myself first. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's, that's above a hit. my faco anyway. I think it's got faco 13. That is a hit. Regular arrows. Uh, flight arrow. Oh. Well, you're using a short bow, right? Yeah, it's regular. Nah, I've got magical flight and normal flight. Ah, oh, gotcha. All right. All right. Uh, uh, the arrow does sink into uh, the hide of the uh, enormous worm. My creature has a faculty of 15. That hits. That's good enough to hit. Alright, and uh, it manages to sink its uh, ghostly fangs into the hide as well. Too bad it doesn't get the poison I attribute of the creature. Ocker, your turn. <laughs> okay. I'm going to swing at it with the battle axe, and my wolf is going to attack as well. Okay. Are you proficient with the axe? <laughs> well, I, I don't think he is. <laughs> I don't have proficiency in battle axes. I've been trying to Oops. learn how to do it, and I was going to get it the next time I got a level, but... Uh, well, because you're wrong. well, regardless, uh, you uh, you press a button, and being unfamiliar with the sudden change, uh, you, you're swinging it down, and, uh, you know, it's, it's cold, and it just goes flying out of your hand. Let's where does it land? Where it goes. Uh, is it not just going like straight into the worm? Yeah. Into the worm's no, mouth, it yeah. Because <laughs> it depends on where the, uh, uh, you know, where on the swing he uh, lets go. Uh, do, 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 that is going to be that. And... and as soon as it leaves the pan, it turns back into a rod anyways. Default form. Does it always do that as soon as it's like gold? Uh, in yeah. this kind of situation, yeah. Uh. I mean, it kind of depends on what he's been, you know, what what mode it's mm. in. 
All right, so it goes. It goes directly behind him. He's doing an overhead chop. Uh, he was doing more of a, a side swing and. Oh. <laughs> So it hits Braxton then. <laughs> <laughs> Bounces it's off of Braxton's head. It it basically uh, lands right here. Oh. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to go get that. Uh, does yeah. Bamble hit with that 12? Uh, yes. Yes, he does. It was what, right here? Yeah, that's fine. Who I'm guessing All right. I can't. Can I not move after doing that? Uh, no. And remember, moving would uh, cause oh, a broke. attack of opportunity against you. I moving know. Right. Right. I'm just holding my shield up to protect myself since I've lost my weapon. All right. Uh, Braxton, your turn. You've not got a spare weapon. I got spare weapons, just not a spare, like, longsword or something. I'm going to pull out a Warhammer next. Uh -huh. oh, hey! Hey! That's a hit. Uh, so it's... D4. Because I gave Braxton my main weapon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your hammer impacts its uh, tough hide. All right. All right. Pegamus. Oh, uh, actually, no, you're also enlarged. Uh, I... Oh yeah, I've got seventy percent. What's seventy percent of three? Well, but it's also yeah, modified like the... additionally. It's going to so... be two anyway. Yeah. Go. There, there's three, modifiers well, that you don't know about. Bigger. Yeah. Oh. Like I'll let that. I'll let Old sit there with the calculator. Well, Braxton doesn't know all the modifiers on it, so there's, yeah. there's no point in him him doing it right now. All right, uh, Higgins, yeah. your turn. All right, can I move into that thing? Um, you you can move up to half your movement and still attack. Uh, so yes, feet, yes, you can. Okay. Bloop, and I'm gonna swing. Big miss chop. I'm surprised he was shooting. Slice it. and dice it into nice worm rounds. Oh, uh, I figured he wants a head. Yeah, well, it's not much of a head. It doesn't really fair. have a head. <laughs> its head is also <laughs> ten feet wide. It's got full uh, of arrows. Fourteen. That's a hit. It's all right. Cool. Oh wait, is, that... is this thing large? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> you do even more damage. You know, if we chop four slices out of this thing. We can put wheels on the sled. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. And you say my my minus is depraved that my might potentially be playing at some point. Alright, uh Higamus, um just as you are uh your blade is sinking into it, because uh, it had uh, uh initiative at the same time, uh it is attacking Braxen and Ocker. Um but after that, it does go limp. Uh, Braxen, mm -hmm. its full mouth comes right down on top of you, uh, <laughs> and you feel yourself uh, being pulled into its gullet. Um, uh, then you suddenly see to... the light as uh, Higamus cuts it apart. What, you, you what do... can Braxen do to stop that? Well, Can't. you'll find out in a moment uh, after you take damage okay. as its uh, uh, teeth cut slice into you for 13 points of damage. You crit it. It rolled a 20 bounce. and go for you. N it, it doesn't do it on a 20, no. It, it does it on a lot less than oh. that. And, uh, Ocker, um... Tail slap! The, uh, spike on the tail uh, does impale into your shoulder. Oh, ah! uh, for four points of damage, and I am going to need a saving throw versus poison. Ooh, dear. So it's, oh, um... God. Okay. Yeah, you're not immune to poison. <laughs> I'm immune to disease, not poison. Okay. My target number is a 10. That's pretty good. 
Yeah, that's really that's good. With uh, plus your modifiers, cause come on. We only got 50-50 chance. Oh god damn it! What did you roll? I rolled a five plus three. Oof. Yeah, you rolled under. The uh, initial sting of uh, um, this uh, the tail uh, jabbing into your shoulder uh, is painful, but then a burning sensation quickly spreads from that point, and. You gasp and collapse down on the ground. Uh, Braxen, uh... Ouch. Do we still have any you, of that ointment? You suddenly, uh, see... Um... Higamus's sword? Hig Higamus's sword slice in right by your face. Uh, luckily mm, he does miss you. Uh, as his blade slices down through the mouth opening and you're able to fall out before getting very far into the gullet. Okay. And the this enormous worm does stop moving. Uh, the uh, spike still impaled in uh, Ocker's shoulder uh, as he collapses down to the ground uh, with a cry of pain. And the thing is clearly uh, dead. Laugh on poison. Yeah, I know that. I've got a scroll of neutralized poison I guess I'll have to use. Do um, something! <laughs> yes, uh, I will. I will Braxton. use my scroll of neutralized poison on him. Bra Brax is going to pull the it's spike out of Ocker. Oh, 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 right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Higamus will uh, look over to the Ocker and be like, ooh, that looks like it's steam. <laughs> I'm You're going... not Braxton. Don't even try. <laughs> I'm going to flip. I'm going to middle finger. I can't even bring up my character sheet. Why can I not bring it up? Oh, I've done it again. Oh, there we go. Uh... <laughs> Shut up. What's, what's the failure Higamus. rate? Yeah, that's going to be pretty important if this actually fails. Uh, bear with me. It's neutral. Eight, ten percent. Okay. Uh, so you rush over towards uh um, Ocker as he is uh, collapsed down uh with this uh cry of pain. You see uh his his he he's completely unconscious. Um, his breathing uh stops just as you get to him. Uh, his face twisted in pain. You pull out your scroll and quickly cast it upon him. And uh, with a gasp, uh, Ocker opens his eyes and yanks the uh, spike out of his shoulder. Um, Ocker, uh, that was uh, extremely painful, and you basically did have a near-death experience there. You're lucky. That was my last means of curing poison. Other than the elixirs of health. I think I'm, they cure poison, don't they? I'm going to slowly get up. I'm going to pick up the rod. And I'm going to say, thank you, Laftal, for saving me. Now, I will also do a healing proficiency, because it's straight after. Can I do that? Yeah. So I can give him a little bit more life. If you didn't have that scroll, I would be dead. Now, Laftal's got the ointments, but I don't have any... Uh, Lilith's better, isn't it? Yeah. I get him yep, 1d3. Yeah. Can I get 1d3 so straight after all? Yeah. So uh, you immediately start uh, um, yeah. <laughs> tending, well, to that's his, that counts. tending to the wound. Uh, you, you put a poultice on it and, and bandage it uh, uh, as best you can. Uh, considering that you had to you know, pull off your gloves and, and your, your fingers immediately start going numb. Okay. Yeah, I gain one hit point? Yeah, one hit point. I'll have to make a note to buy another neutralized poison at some point. Alright, I think we need to camp out. Rest. Braxton says, That thing ate me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Almost uh, did, yeah. The... yeah. Thanks for chopping it open, Higamus. You're welcome. <laughs> How did you work out where to chop to, <laughs> to not chop me in half? I had no idea. <laughs> Oh, wow. okay. Uh, <laughs> see how it is. Gotta love that luck. <laughs> I think I saw Valhalla for a second before you brought me back. <laughs> so, um, do you want the head off this thing? It's too big. Too big. What <laughs> about that hook on the tail? We could take that. Oh, no. Uh, we'd have to find the poison sack for that. And sadly, I have no idea what that would be. Well, I mean, you could still take the... the... 
The spike. You could have a guess. So that is the smallest portion of it. I take it that spike's ruined. Is it hollow? Uh, it is hollow, yeah, but... I, I mean, ripped it half of my off. arm. I mean, yeah. the, the end of the tail, in addition to the uh, the horny spike, um, it's pretty well, like, armored and anchored so that it doesn't, like, break off uh, with a failed attack or something like that. Um, the hole that it came out of is... Uh, um, you can see now that it's, uh, it's uh, clearly burrowed its way through with its uh, teeth. Uh, and it goes down about 30 feet, as far as you can tell, before uh, curving around um, and going into so, darkness that you can't see. Is So I'm guessing my uh, my coat is uh, damaged after that. Yeah, but it's just a hole. I mean, it's not it's like... It's just a thing on your shoulder. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, a pierced hole. You can... Uh... Patch it up. Yeah. Well, I've got yeah. a sewing needle, but I don't have fret for some speed. <laughs> Brax would say, sir, what's the, what are people I've called string, about... actually. Brax I says, think what do people have think s- about... Have threat, actually. What do people think about camping in the hole? No. It's 30 I'm not going deep. Anywhere... I don't think that's a terrible idea. But I'm not going anywhere bit... near that damn hole. If it's got children, so to speak. It's also 30 feet deep. Yeah. Like, yeah it goes, it it goes straight down. down. It goes straight down before it curves. I also yeah. suggest to the party to gut it in case it was eaten any other adventure recently. Where do you... Well, yeah, it what's... might have something in it. Yeah, let's do so that, so now now that you're you're you know it's dead and it's not moving, you can get a, a reasonably a reasonable estimate yeah. of its length. It's over a hundred feet long by a considerable oh, good margin. God. All right, I that's think... good for my notes. I think we should just keep going and find a yeah, safer yeah, place to yeah, camp. Yeah, taking measurements. He's making notes. Yeah, no, I am as well. I'm writing in my book. He writes down. Uh, you would probably uh, write uh, at, poison at camp tail. because hold on. You would probably write at camp because otherwise you're taking yeah. your, your, you know, your mitten right, off your and make gross. mental notes. Yeah. Well, I thought we yeah. were going to be camping here. Well, I mean, do you want to camp right here or do you want to push on a little bit further? I mean, you we do have I think we should push. Hours. I think we should push on a bit further away from this hole. Well, I mean, in addition to the hole, hold on, hold on, hold on. In addition to the hole, that would be literally right next to a 100 plus foot long uh, warm body of meat. Yeah. I I yelled at what I was thinking about maybe trying to get some of the leather off of it. Could we? Hold on. We might be able to eat this thing. thing Uh, <laughs> Leva stays a bit in the background. Her horse, the saw, is uh, is is uncomfortable around the, around this worm thing. It's dead now. Oh, oh look! Obviously, we can't Even eat all of it, but out. we might be able to eat some of it. Don't we still have some cold weather rations or yeah, something? Yeah, but we're running out at some point. So yeah, I mean, you we guys did what? mark off uh, another cold weather ration, right? Last yeah. from the I did rest. not, so I'm doing it now. Okay. Yeah. Cold weather rations, let me look. I have now six left. Uh, and that takes longer than a week for us to get back. Well, yeah, let's... it might take us less time. Yeah, let's... maybe maybe we should get something from this. Let's I mean, butcher this thing and take some of the, some of the meat we with us. we can supplement it, then yeah, it'll be better. Yeah, rather that's... than me having to use my coat feet and water. Yeah, let's see what we can do. All right, so you guys are going to also... cut off some chunks of the meat and... Yeah. Yeldon's going to try to get some of the leather off of it. Brax, some Brax of the hide, because is... it seems pretty... It looks like pretty tough hide, so it might make some decent leather armor. Um, Brax it's is going to actually... try and find... The, the, the hide is only tough due to thickness, not because of any inherent... Like... Like, you, need a, you can actually cut through it pretty easily. The problem is, is that, like, a dagger doesn't really get very deep like it doesn't actually hit much in the way of uh, vulnerable spots because it's so thick so it's actually yeah, not uh... very tough it's 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 a worm no. i'm getting it for my arrow which i don't get back yeah, like, well, i'll yeah, help he get that looks in the mouth then i like cutting it up pulls out three arrowheads <laughs> yeah they would have been smashed and up. then looks oh, at the yeah, teeth 
looks Braxton at Braxton wants to try and... try and tries to pry out one of the teeth out of its mouth. Okay, Braxton, what are you doing? Braxton wants to see if it's eaten anything interesting by looking for its mm -hmm. stomach, and cutting it open. So on its uh, uh, more than 100 foot long uh, body, where are you deciding the stomach is to cut into? Easily in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh... If it's easy to cut through, you just cut a score a great big line for it. Yeah, yeah but it's, cut... it's over 100 feet long. Mm hmm I mean, it's it's not that it's easy to cut through in that respect. I mean, it's still a lot of time and effort to cut that deeply in to get to the stomach. If only I had my ring where I could see the stomach. Yeah. There's a dragon somewhere that's just having so much fun with right, that ring. He'll go. Brack's going to go about a third of the way down. Look for the slightly larger part of the body yeah, where it, looks, it might have like organs. Yeah, look for a slightly larger part. It looks pretty even, uh, evenly sized the whole way. Um, it's not a in fact, the, glass doll. The head is Ew. by far the largest portion. Like the 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 the, the rim around its teeth is by far the largest uh, uh, portion yeah. of it because uh, that's where the burrowing starts. And if anything Do was want... thicker further down, it would get stuck. Uh, am I able to get one of its teeth out of its mouth? Yes, uh, and uh, it's it's a big tooth. It's about uh, um, eight inches long. Nice. He'll Ooh. put that. He'll keep put that away. That would hurt Braxton. Like... It did hurt Braxton. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, like if it got to see. chomp on him a lot. Well, I mean, it did. It 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 did thirteen points of damage. Yeah. Yeah, I took a lot of damage from that thing. It bit from all different directions at the same time. Uh, yeah, Brack's going to go about a third of the way down. And yeah. then cut in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you do uh, not find the stomach. Right. So can he have a guess on whether he's got um, a throat or uh, an intestine? <laughs> you don't have any anatomy skills, look so... Look for organs, not really. basically. Anything. You see a lot of very stringy, long things. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Like literally yeah, everything that you're seeing is is long and stretched out, and kind of cylindrical in shape. Yeah, and then you're an animal expert. Which way's the stomach? How if if it's so I'm gonna guess it's kind of similar how a snake works, but not quite. So what happens when a snake eats something is the whole the whole body is its digestive tract. Uh huh. So it would the entire thing is its stomach. Right. So it doesn't have a stomach like us, you think? Mm-hmm. And then would you have to cut? I'm the basing thing it off of the what I know kind of know about snake. Well, cut something from the back. From the tail. This looks like a giant earthworm with a poison tail. Right. Yeah. Okay. Brack's gonna go down the other end, about ten feet from the end. Of... That's a guess. I it. don't know. It's a logical guess. Eh? You find uh, more long, stringy yeah, uh, yeah. things, although not as many because uh, this close to the tail, uh, it's actually pretty narrow. Uh, Yeldon's gonna look at, go to the tail and chop, chop the tail off. Okay, uh, that's a good uh, uh, four feet long and three feet thick. <laughs> and then he's gonna take the time. While they're doing whatever they're doing, while, while Braxton's cutting into it more and stuff, like he's gonna start cleaning off all the meaty bits, meat bits off the tail. So it's just the hard part. Okay. Hard leather. Uh, now this is taking time. Um, mm, I, well, you I suggest we maybe set up camp here. Yeah. yeah. Next to this big warm thing, gonna act as a wall against the cold. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah, we can use it. Uh, like Y'all don't point out. Oh, bring scavengers. Yeah, but then we can just offer up the worm. There's plenty of worms. They're not going to be intelligent like that. That's a point. Yeah. Well, six one way, half dozen the other. Oh, I suppose yeah. Arcus Wolf will enjoy a little bit of food, fresh meat. You might be able to yeah. push on another hour since uh, you've spent uh, quite a bit of time investigating this corpse. Yeah. And I can Let's... I can clean off the meat off of the tail any any time. 
Just get a couple of sizable portions for like a day's meal. Then the rest. Yeah, that sounds will... like a good idea. Yeldon yeah. will get his um, tail bit. Okay. We need something of proof, though, don't we? Mm-hmm. Can we cut a bit of the head off? Or... I, How... the tail I mean, you could take more teeth. Uh, you could take more teeth. I, uh, yeah, they're I'm they're about eight inches teeth, long. If you want to take any, oh uh, yeah, teeth are fairly light, light anyway. Compared, yeah, to I'll the take rest a tooth. Too. I'll take a tooth. Any... Are there any teeth stuck in Brexton? <laughs> no, none of the teeth broke off. All right. Okay, so write down what you're what you're taking, and then you're going to push on. And we're going to chop off yes, some please. meat. So. Does this creature have any bones? Nah, it doesn't matter. I've already got a wormy creature. No, it doesn't have any bones at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a worm. It is definitely a worm. I know. Boneless. Worms are boneless. Like, the thing that, you, uh, that you're that you summoning is pretty clearly a snake. Ugh. Mm-hmm. All right, so um, after collecting some bits... Uh, the Endure Colds do end, and you push on for, uh, a little bit further, trying to get, uh, trying to keep a, a distance on the, uh, corpse. Are we still in the ravine? Uh, you're just, yeah, you're, you're in the, the valley, you're just getting to the, uh, the real thin ravine. This was before you got to that. Okay. We can camp inside the ravine. Yeah, you, th- well... You might have to push on a little bit longer to get there. Do you want to push on until you get there? Yeah, I don't point how, out. How much will help with there. the wind? Well, it's hard to hard to say because um, you're kind of going by memory and everything is dark and you have limited amount of uh, light. But you've definitely made better time coming sure. down uh, this valley than uh, when you and you know. When you first came through here. Where are we trying to get to again? The very narrow crevasse ravine. That might be good. Let's do that. Okay. Because yellow, it'll provide better shelter against the wind. Chance to warm up better. Was that a bit warmer? Yes. Right. Well, the wind, the wind wouldn't be as bad. Alright, I'll move you guys back into the... Uh... Positioning that you were in. Gollum just following along. And roll twenty has decided to stop responding for me. Uh, let me have oh, a look. No, no, it's it's fine now. It was just slow. All right. So uh, you guys uh, get going again. Um, unfortunately, before you get to the. Uh, uh, the crevasse, uh, the second horse that Leva summoned uh, does vanish. Laughter breaks down. He cries while in Leva's form, or Leva's mimicked form. He, he never changed back. I just want to point this out. The second one I, I will. I will also point out that it's pretty obvious to everyone else that while you know, you're, you, you've are you got the same hair <laughs> color... And you're an elf, similar skin tone, similar eye color. You're pretty clearly a different person. And Laftel is missing, so the, he can, that can yeah, be I never tried to hide that. I'm not Laftel, but, you know. He's pretending to be you. Anyway, the lever doesn't understand. I mean, that was just a horse. It's not just any horse. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not like Thor, you know. Look at him. <laughs> So elegant, so so oh, yeah, so special. <laughs> so you haven't quite gotten to the uh, the crevasse. What do you want to do? And the horse has vanished. Uh, oh, I'll well. pick up the sled and continue on. Okay. Yeah, I'll have well, to transform to back to his usual self. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, Yeldon, um, you are affected by the temperature, and you suffer a point of exposure damage. One point? Yep. Uh, Laftel. Oh. 
It's my first level of exposure damage. Suffer three points of exposure. Yeah. Okay, but uh, with Higamus uh, pulling, uh, you do, uh, after another uh, about an hour and a half, uh, get to the entrance to the crevasse and uh, set up camp. You're casting uh, Create Campsite, Laftal? Yeah. Okay. And Log of Ever Burning to half the fuel. Okay. Uh, it uh, thirds the fuel. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Keep note of that. Um, when... All right, so everyone will uh, use up uh, another... Uh, day of worth of rations and uh since you did push on a little bit further there may be some more exposure damage let's see as you're setting up camp well laughter sets up camp with a spell <laughs> yeah well i mean you're you're you know pulling stuff out and and yeah that's getting your true. own stuff ready and and getting your food out uh Higamus, uh suffers a point can of we damage not, can we not eat exposure? anything from the worm then uh well Part of the, the yeah. day's worth of uh, rations usage is what you ate in the morning, uh, uh, what yeah. you okay, ate cool. during the day, cool. that kind of thing. So yeah. uh, if it does All anything, right. it'll count towards what tomorrow. What I'm going to do is, uh, yeah, because we haven't had a chance to cook it, I figured it would count towards you. Uh, for the next two days, we use half a food days of ration rather than the full ration. Uh, yeah, apart from me. Bielmolf suffers three points of exposure damage. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that was horrible. Whoever that was. What? Uh, I was just uh, feedback Discord. or something. Audio feedback. Did, what were, what uh, were you asking? So, uh, does the doctor suffer any exposure? No. Okay, so it's just been a Yeah. Uh, check your microphone connection. It's fine now, but uh, you might have just jerk something. The only back. thing that I'm having problems with is my is uh, the, the voice connection over Wi-Fi. It's in red right now. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, that'll do it. Uh, and uh, Thor suffers a another point of uh, exposure damage. Only one this time. Yep. Thor isn't here yet. Isn't gone yet. Nope. Hmm. However, as Sorry, you are dude. setting up uh, um, camp for the night, uh, he does vanish. Oh, Lafnul goes over to Lever. You, would you like to offer me up to offer up a prayer to Everest? <laughs> you know, <laughs> it might cost you though. Leva doesn't take any notice of you. She's she's Aww. in tears. She's crying. She's she... last well, tomorrow. Remember, I will try again. I will cast a couple of spells. <laughs> okay, same uh, watch order. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Instead of my summon animal spell, I'm taking remove curse. So I don't know if it's curse. Cover three exposure damage one. All right, and uh, no one on watch uh, takes any exposure damage. Oh, Question. Yes. Uh, would I know? Would that class? Can I roll spellcraft to know if that would class as a charm? Um. Well, actually, I've got nothing to remove charm anyway. I'll you're not really charm. sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, I again, this isn't a specific spell, so. Yeah, it's a magic effect, so, yeah. Um, Alright, so, uh, you are going to try and uh, cook up the uh, um, the worm meat overnight. Can Lava, is Lava going to try to cook it up, or is she too grief? She's grief-stricken. She lost her true love, I mean, what do you expect of her? Uh, uh, we expect you to still be able to feed us. Hey, hey, give, uh, you Braxton can summon them up. again tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Braxton walks up to... make a fire or, some, or cook something, because, uh, I mean, after all, okay, their so priorities. Because I was going to roll it instead, with, as less chance of success, but... I'll Braxton just... goes up to Higamus and asks if pulling the sled hurt his throat. Oh. Why would it hurt his throat? Oh, uh, well, it, since, uh... Since Lever's first spell uh, failed, he looked like he was a little horse. Hmm? Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Fired. Um, so, who is who is uh, trying to cook up this uh, worm meat? Okay, Lever will try. All right. She'll cry, but says... she will try. 
All right, go ahead and uh, roll. Uh, what, cooking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, just a second. I don't know if it helps, but Yelvin is a... Yeah, but you, you wanted her to roll because she has a better skill. Um, however, uh, even with that roll, Leva, you are, uh, you're just so distraught over, um, the loss of your love <laughs> that, uh, the first piece that you start roasting just gets burnt to a crisp. It is, it is just charcoal. It's like, Leva, are you sure it's done yet? Le Leva, Leva, Le take it out yeah, of fire! Have, have you made that? You have, you just can't see anything. Laugh up! God damn it! Get some, very good get in the morning. Shrugs. I guess one of us can try cooking instead. Yeah, Yeldon's the other cook. Mm -hmm. Yeldon, Back. come on. I guess I'll roll too then. Braxton, Braxton puts his hand on Lever's shoulder and says, "I don't know why you're upset. He's gone to a warmer oh, place." Oh no! <laughs> what? Uh, so uh, ash for Yeldon. <laughs> uh. Yeldon, um, it looks uh, quite tasty. Uh, you, you, it, it's it's cooked nicely through, as far as you can tell. Uh, you know, you've you've uh, made sure that the uh, the time is right, and uh, it's it's um, not it crispy apart. on the outside. Uh, it looks uh, tender and juicy. Um, it's raw. Who you're gonna take a bite? Yelp, Yeldon will take a bite first and make sure he did it right. It is absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Give me a saving throw versus poison. <laughs> oh, he's got food poisoning. How many of these pieces do we grab? It's a good thing I don't eat meat. We have a hand of food. You vomit. A... You vomit all inside. over the place. It's just like us, like, just everywhere. I don't think I can cook that. It I don't is. Think it's... Yeah, I don't think I would even try judging by that reaction. Uh, so much so that uh, you're not going to uh... be on watch. Yeah, you're not going to be able to be on watch. Yeah, we're. You, I you guess need... we're just going to have to eat rations tonight. You need to it. sleep. You need and to rest. And someone else is going. Can have I to pick do? Up on my watch, I say weekly. Can I do herbalism to see if I can come up with a uh, parchment to help him with that? Oh, he he's already he's already yeah, purged right. himself he's... pretty well. <laughs> I mean, you could try to find something that uh, uh, soothes his well, stomach and, and everything. Yeah, it's whatever I've got on yeah. me. Yeah, you can do herbalism Basically. check, but no, you you don't. He's 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 purged himself pretty well already. <laughs> and I take it that would reduce my healing kit down by one. Yeah, whatever it is. All right. Uh, you do uh, concoct some uh, um, something to soothe his stomach and uh, hopefully prevent him from uh, uh, heaving at all during the night. Um, and I will say, I was I was planning on uh, uh, having Yeldon have some penalties tomorrow from that, but uh, with that herbalism check, uh, he will not. So you are you are good in that respect. So. Um, does the rest of the, do the other people on watch just want to go with the? Uh, um, Three person three watch. Person watch. Yeah, yeah, three person yeah, watch. Yeah, three person watch. Okay. Brax is fine with that. All right. I had actually already rolled for um, exposure overnight, and no one got any. Um, however, whether anything actually happens during the night, we will have to wait and find out for uh, t next week. Uh, instead, we are going to uh, distribute some experience points. Hmm. I've changed I my almost... spells. I seem not. I almost died twice this week. Wow, well, I've got no spells to cast anyway. Uh, I mean, you can you can change up your spells for what you want, but it won't actually apply until the night passes. Yeah, and... if I get a fight, I've I've not got any combat spells anywhere other than out itself. Yeah, I mean, I haven't rolled to see if anything is going to be attracted by the uh, um, the creature's corpse. So I'm well, gonna... your models will burn up the corpse anyway. Well, it's well, we... kind of an hour and a half away now. Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, what we've got. Oh, well, what yeah. I mean, you can dragging. certainly do that. I mean, no one's gonna, no one's gonna want to even try it after uh, what happened with uh, Yeldon. <laughs> yeah. Like everyone else is like, I think I'm good. I think I'm not gonna. <laughs> you try just bury anything. that sick underneath the snow. Uh, uh, what, what, what I noticed that evening is like, cannot eat. It's not edible. <laughs> I think Yeldon needs to eat something tomorrow somehow because it's gonna be quite enduring on him. So, uh, XP? 
Yeah, it's coming. Give me a moment. Yes, sir. Do the math. They make small talk. <laughs> chop, he's chop. Gonna, he's going to do algebra. <laughs> All right, let's oh. see. Oh, I need to make a ploy to get into a temple somewhere where they sell spell scrolls. Hey, who says they don't sell spell scrolls at the... Yeah. yeah, at the poor place, but since we've been to the code side, I need to somehow get into the normal district. Ocker, uh, you get 4,930 experience points. Wow, nice. Four thousand five hundred and ninety. Four thousand nine hundred thirty. Four thousand nine hundred thirty. That's a, a lot. That's a good we amount. killed some pretty beefy creatures. We completed a, a, a part of an adventure anyway, so. I thought we got that last time, but. Laftol, uh, five thousand two hundred seventy. Ooh. I wonder if that's for conning freaking gold out of lava. Uh, do I get extra XP for that or not? Uh, that's included. It's not split oh, up between it's not classes. to either. It's, well, I mean, it, it's more character-based rather than class-based. Um, yeah. And and yet yeah, th this, this experience is including getting out alive and thus completing this leg of the adventure. Ah, so you, okay. you hadn't actually completed the leg of the adventure uh, last well, time. Well, we got quite a bit last time, too, so that's why I thought, oh. Yeah, I'm guessing that's for getting the peak, the major piece of the art of the thing we're creating, getting, and and you know killing monsters and stuff like that. So, oh, we got a new companion. We got Stan over there. Uh, Leva, five thousand three hundred seventy experience points. Wow. Just the and we'll seventy. Probably... Uh. Five eight seventy. Hold on. Five three seventy. Five three. Five three seventy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You forget so. I mean, new you'll, companion. You'll we have two new companions. You'll stop thinking about that heart once uh, you, once the spell magic hits you. No, Wait, I'll never. Uh, Leva on. never stops thinking about that horse. It's a true love. You can't just stop thinking about your true love. I mean, who are you? Have you <laughs> you'll realize that it's just before? a horse. Yeldon, Never. more of a horse. Yeldon, uh, 4,940 <laughs> experience points. Oh, you know what's funny? Sorry. 4,940. I'm exactly at 49,000 of my uh, so feet. I have a exactly. Well, hold, hold on. Um, Braxen, uh, 4,880. When did 4, I pass Augur in XP? <laughs> Well, I'm gonna head out. I gotta take care of some stuff. All right. Uh, have fun. Mm -hmm. See ya. See ya. And for Higamus, uh, four thousand nine hundred ninety experience points. Anyone else leveling up? Nope. I'm about to type mine in. That is pretty impressive to get exactly uh forty nine thousand. Yeah. That is uh that is Look pretty at... impressive. How well, did I, I pass had a, I had a point five. Uh, so I just got ahead of me, that. and now I got ahead of Ocker again. I guess I've been doing more things that got me XP. I don't know. Um, Braxton got less because of the bad joke. It's possible that uh, someone did some uh, incorrect math at some point. I don't know, uh, but. Uh, I mean, how much? What are what are you That's at, uh, Higamus and Braxen? Uh, hang on. Uh, this was my XP before I leveled. I'm just showing. Oh wow, Yeldon shot up way ahead of me. Then that probably means Yeldon uh, put some numbers in wrong. Oh, did I? Um. If Brax. you're still on the same page, you might be able to control Z out. Because uh. Yeah, I thought I was kind of ahead of a lot of people. Braxton was catching up, I think. And Laftel has uh, a total of 92,000 split across both of his classes. That's what I have. Problem is, is I don't think I've reported how much we got last session, because I probably was from there. I always update my backup notes first, then I update my main. It's essentially the same thing. 
Uh, did you you put in you put in your uh, experience last time, right? In, yeah. Into the chat. Yeah, uh, Yelden. So... All right. Well, uh, after after the session, I'll I'll pull up the uh, old chat and take a look, and we'll double check it. How's that? Yeah. All right, but uh, we'll figure that out. Uh, that's not something that uh, the viewers need to see. Uh, thanks to everyone who has been watching. Uh, we will be back next week uh, with the party yeah, getting out uh, of this area. See if anything happens during the night. <laughs> I mean, um, sorry. Uh, and, uh, yeah, have more uh, more fun with uh, things trying to eat their faces. Naftal's going to have fun trying to get a new holy symbol. Yeah, yep. yep. That'll be fun. Anyway, uh, <sighs> thank you guys for playing, and thanks everyone for watching. We'll be back next week. Thanks for having us. Thanks for the game.